Hi everyone, welcome to a new Test Plus assignment. I'm Adi Purdila, and recently I made a course called Wireframing with Sketch, which shows you why wireframing is so important in a design workflow and also teaches you how to build your own wireframing kit. Now, if you take the course, you will build quite a few elements from very simple shapes to more complex elements like tab and accordion controls. However, if you start looking at the big picture, you soon realize that there are so many more web design patterns out there that can be included in such a kit, like date pickers, like uh, browser windows or common forms, just to name a few. So your assignment is to take the existing kit we've built and add new elements to it. You can add whatever you want or whatever you need for your own projects. But if you're unsure where to start, I'll give you some ideas. For shapes, you can add some arrows and not just left to right or right to left. You can go all directions. Then for form elements, you can add a couple more inputs. For example, a stepper input, a phone number input, a date picker, and a slider input. Since you're working with form elements, why not build a couple more forms? So go ahead and build a common form and then a sign in and sign up form. And finally, there are a few more elements you could build. For example, a link list, a browser window, a progress bar, and why not a calendar? And that's it. Once you add these elements, you'll have a pretty sizable wireframing kit that you can use in your own projects. Now, uh, once you download the source files, you'll find a sketch document with, which contains all the artboards and all the elements for the wireframing kit. And for styles, for colors or fonts, you can use the ones in the document or replace them with your own uh, using the included global styles. And that's about it. Now, if you run into any kind of problems regarding this assignment, or you simply want to chat about it, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm Adi Pordila. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.